and as you can see we have already uh, calculated the uh, concentration of H2PO4 minus which is this the 20 minus X and so we write uh, 20 minus X divided by the new H3PO4 that got created is X so we do X and that is equal to 0 0.76 so if that be the case, then we can see we can do the cross multiplication. So now it be 20 minus x is equal to uh, 0 0.76 x. Or, you know, take x on the other side, so it becomes 20 is equal to 0 0.76 x plus x. So you can see this is really 1.76x. So that becomes, uh, we, you know, we can take the x as common. So it becomes 76 plus 1. So the total thing is 1.76x. So if that be the case, uh, you can see uh, we can read x then is equal to 20 divided by 0.76. So how much that then x uh, becomes for that? Well, we'll do this. Let's clear this. We have 20 uh, divided by, okay, this is 1.76, not 76. We have 20 uh, divided by 1.76. And that value becomes 11.36. Okay. So we write that to be, 11.36 millimole. So this amount of acid is needed to convert the, you know, part of this 20 millimole of H2PO4 minus to the H3PO4. But initially, we have used uh, 20 millimole of the acid to convert the HPO4 2 minus to this component. Total millimoles of acid. Total. Uh, acid is then 20 millimoles from here and 11.36 11.36 so as you can see this is 31.36 millimole of HCl H plus of H plus we need which is really the same as uh, 31.36 millimole of HCl because they are 1 is to 1. So let me uh, pull up this. The question is uh, what volume? What volume of this acid which is which was 1.0931 molar HCl contains 31.36 millimole of HCl. As you can see, 31.36 millimole is equal to, you know, divide that by 1000, so it becomes 0 0.03136 mole. Not millimole anymore, because I'm dividing the millimole, so, or, you know, you, if you multiply mole with 1000, you get the millimole. So this is the number of uh, moles of HCl. So we know the moles is equal to the concentration uh, moles, as we have already shown, is equal to uh, the volume in liter times the concentration in molarity. Okay. So the mole we have, which is 0 
3.1336 is equal to the volume in liter times the concentration we have in molarity 1.0931 all right so the volume then is going to be uh, 0 0.03136 divided by uh, 1.0931 uh, this is going to be in liters Let's calculate the uh, volume in liters. So we have this uh, clear. We have 0 0.03136 dividing that by 1.0931. That is equal to 0 0.028. Six. I'll just zero zero point zero two nine two eight six eight to two eight seven. Say, okay. So zero point zero two eight seven liters. Okay. So now that liter really becomes. You have to multiply that with one thousand to get the milliliter. So it is going to be twenty eight point seven milliliter of a cell and so we have the answer of this question that is going to you need twenty-eight point seven milliliter of one point zero nine Three one molar ACL to make a buffer of pH equal to two. So that's the answer. All other buffers with this kind of information given uh, should be treated in the same way.